Hi everyone, it's Gina from Gina K Designs and welcome back to another five minute card video. This one might be a few minutes longer than five minutes, but it's a super fun technique. I'm going to start this technique by cutting some masking magic into quarter inch strips. And then I am going to place those strips around the perimeter of my card. Now in this technique today, I'm going to show you how to use a die in a very unique way to color your images. But I'm going to start by creating a little frame around the outside first because I really like the way that looks. Now once my frame is created there, I'm going to take a little bit of turquoise sea ink and I'm going to run that ink around the perimeter of this card. I want my darkest spots here to be right around the edge and then I can go in with that blending brush and just blend inside the center. And if it looks like a little cloudy, like there's clouds in the sky, that's totally fine. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take a, an image that you want to stamp and you're going to take the coordinating die and you're going to cut it out on a piece of cardstock. Then you're going to use the negative piece to create a stencil of sorts. And I'm going to start with a little bit of wild lilac ink and I'm going to work my way across this butterfly in Wild Lilac, Turquoise Sea, and Lucky Clover. Now, although I'm using Turquoise Sea, and I also used it for the background, as long as I get it a little darker and more heavy-handed on the butterfly itself, you'll be able to see it beautifully. And this is a good order to do this because the green blends into the blue and the blue blends into the purple. So there's my first butterfly. Now I'm going to use this little stencil image that I created to see where my last one is. And once I get past it, then I'm going to stencil my next one. And you can go in opposite directions if you want. You can use other colors if you want, but I'm gonna stick with this color palette today. Okay, and then I'll add some green. And I'm going to continue to do this all around this, uh, this piece of cardstock, st uh, stenciling in these butterflies, and then we're going to stamp inside and all of this stenciling is going to become the coloring of the butterflies. So just a couple more to go here. We'll just kind of go backwards on this one, starting at the bottom working that turquoise sea in there, and then some lucky clover. All right, one more over here. And again, I'm using that little stencil that I made to see where my last one is so I don't go over it, but I get nice and close. And then a little bit of turquoise. And then I'll add just a little green in there. Okay, now I don't want to leave an empty space there or even up there, so I can kind of find where those images are and then add a little wing in here, maybe a little turquoise in there to change the color. And then if I want, I can even do something up here. Now on my sample, I had room, but this one I don't. Now I'm going to take some black onyx dye ink and the coordinating butterfly image and I'm going to stamp in all of those areas. So we'll stamp in there, and it's okay if it's not perfect. In fact, it's a little more whimsical if it's not perfect. I'll stamp one in here. As long as you kind of get close, it'll look good. Turn this upside down and get over here. Sometimes with these big images, it's easier to turn the stamp on its back and ink it up using the ink pad. There we go. But I'm working it here. Okay, do one here. And we'll just get that little wing right in there. Okay, now that I have all of my butterflies stamped. I'm going to remove the masking magic. 
want to be gentle because on the masking magic, it may not be completely dry. You can see I get that nice border. I just love that look. Now this whole panel is going to go on a piece of black cardstock. And then the whole panel will go on to a white card base. So I've already got that folded and ready to go. Now this butterfly comes from the Elegant Asters stamp set. The greeting I chose comes from Emily Loggins' Be the Rainbow set. And what I did was I stamped the, the greeting always here for you, cut it out with one of the flag dies, and then I white embossed it. And I'm going to just pop this up on my card. Just like that. And if you want to add a little sparkle, you can always add a few sequins and make your card look like this. So that's my finished card. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's technique and I hope you'll give it a try. And stay tuned to my channel for more five minute card videos and more live stamp and chat videos too. Thanks so much for joining me and have a great day.